What's good YouTube? It's Con Man here coming back at you with another Madden 23 No Money Spent episode 37. Wow, getting deep into it this year. But first of all, how late do you guys keep your Christmas trees up in the background? My wife says it's got to stay up for another two weeks, so y'all better get used to it. But let's get y'all over to the Xbox screen and they drop Campus Legends today. Make sure when you first log in, do not quick sell this Amari Cooper. This Amari Cooper actually upgrades to a 93 overall, which got me thinking. They dropped a bunch of new cards today, a bunch of good players for the Browns theme team. And I was thinking, hey, you know what? Maybe I should go ahead, snipe up five of the new ones. As you see, our coin stack took a little hit. Fire up some new ones, get the new guys. But I started seeing these prices and these, they're just not expensive. And to think, like, I'm not going to get rid of the Legends theme team. I, I, I've decided it. I'm just not going to do it. If we have enough coins in the future, we will do it. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do the most craziest roll we've ever done here. We're going to quick sell all this stuff for 178,000 training boys. And we are going to roll because I really, really, really want this to Javion Connie. That is a card I could get behind, have him for a really long time. You know what, Ryan Fitzmagic, I just saw you sneak by and you're getting quick sold too. See you later. An extra 12,000 training right there. So let's go over here. We still have got Eric Dickerson. I was thinking about making the new running back. Hell, I still might, depending on my roles. But maybe we'll get lucky and even pull this bastard. So if you guys are liking this campus promo, drop a like on the video. We'll start it off with the Daily Plus coin gold. Maybe we get super lucky here. I've heard these roles have been absolutely cracked. We get an elite to start off with. Okay. 82 Dion Jones. So we've got 195,000 training that we are rolling today. I've heard this 84 plus is cracked. Hopefully it'll be good for us. Shout out to Gut Fox. I've seen him talking all day today about this pack, how it's sick. So Gut Fox, if you're watching this, if you're seeing this, and I don't pull anything good, this on you, man. So thanks a lot, bud. So we shall see. I don't know if we quick sell stuff or do anything, but we get an 89. I think that's good. Yeah, that's a dub. 89s are dubs, so anything but an 84 is a dub in this right now. I've heard they're thinking about patching it. They already patched the packs earlier today. That's kind of why I, I sniped some up, because I thought the odds on these were going to increase. But I think once people start figuring out this training reroll was actually pretty cracked, the prices have somewhat gone down on stuff as we get another 89. So we're starting out pretty good with about 50% above the pool rate right now, that is, that's some fantastic odds. I really want to get 11, 93. Oh my God. This is the hottest reroll of all time. This is insane. So again, we start out with 195,000 training and I feel like we're already at almost 195 training. Probably not that much, but I mean, good golly. That's insane luck right there. This is way better than... So we've already made one ninety-three back. So like the goal is to get basically five ninety-three backs as we get another Daniel Hunter. So we've already gotten two fifths of the way back to where we basically sold these ninety-threes, and that's just insane, man. Can we get super super lucky? Pull one of the limiteds. I would go with either Clowney or Devonte Smith. I'd sell them both of them right now because. These prices are going to drop, especially if they do not patch this pool rate right now. That's that's some insane luck right there, y'all. So drop a like on the video for those pools alone. That's nuts right there. We are definitely we definitely should be making out pretty good on this as we get an 89 Malik Hooker. That's what we like to see. We love seeing these 89 pluses. Give it to me. Come on. I want to limit it. We get another 89. This is just cracked right now i think the real way to get the best actually it probably is 90 93s if you're smart enough and you snipe a 93 for maybe like 100 or someone listed like really really low that's going to be your best bet on getting some training because you're not going to have to go through the auction house very much you're just going to have to get a 93 or two and start re-rolling this is just 
some cracked out reroll packs right now. These odds have got to be wrong. Like they've got to be doing something wrong right now because we are making out like bandits right now. This is insane. Uh, also, the market did tank for everybody that was out there, but I do want to note on my last video, I did say that the higher cards, the best cards in the game typically stay up. Yes, the market got hit, but if you sold off like your really, really good cards, like say, for example, um, I want to say like I saw Dunsell Ward going up. I saw Creed Humphrey going up. Let's get another 89 Joe Burrow. Okay. I saw a bunch of cards actually rising in price today. I saw Steve Smith Sr. short and elite. You know, he's up to 300,000. He was selling for 200,000 before. It's it's just some crazy stuff. So just be out there. I, I've never been a big fan of selling my entire team just because there's so much risk and so much time involved in selling your entire teams like that. It's just not worth my time. I don't have enough time to go through and essentially sell every little bit of this and that and just try to profit off of I'm essentially because time is money so it is what it is so we're gonna go ahead keep rolling this guys it's this is an insane amount of training that I pumped into here I didn't even think it'd be that much training I guess I did have some leftovers for like the competitive passes yeah because that Jermaine Edmonds sucks he'll never be on my squad ever um like I said, I was thinking about taking those 595s, making a 96. But then I was looking at the math that the 96s are only 400K. I bought those for about 115 each. So you're looking at, gosh, like 580 for 96 and have a bunch of B&Ds that, granted, yeah, I'd love to have a Browns team team. I, I would really enjoy that as you get another 89, nice. I'd really enjoy that, but to compete against the Legends theme team and all the abilities that these Legends get and all these extra abilities that you can get, it's really about Legends. I mean, not, not Legends particularly, but it's really about abilities. I mean, you want to have the best abilities and the Browns theme team does not. So, I don't even think they have a short and elite for free. Actually, I know they don't. They don't have a really tall wide receiver. They don't have a great tight end. I mean, the Joku's okay, but... It's only like 89 speed, so he'd only get an up to 91. Like the Mario Davis card looked pretty good. He'd be up to 94 speed, but again, you gotta pay for Lurker. You know, you got Tony Field, same thing, gotta pay for Lurker. Uh, no true free safeties. If Grant Delpit gets a team in a week for the, his past performance against the Commanders, that would be sick. I'd be pretty pumped with that, but there's no guarantee on that. We can always go back and do the Browns theme team whenever we want to. I really want to build off this Legends theme teams, and I really want a limited. So please, please, please give me this limited. I'm sure 96s are so hard to pull in this. Again, we're we're on a cold streak right now, so maybe it's not as hot as we originally thought. But like I said, we started at 195,000. We will see after this roll. I'll probably keep my 93s and then just quick sell everything else and hopefully make my money back that way. Um, hopefully they didn't just shadow nerf this as soon as I like started getting into it because I know I saw a couple other youtubers put it out there mainly gun Fox he was one he's you know the main guy out there with that I follow so he's got great tips if you guys ever need some recommendations highly recommend y'all check him out if you don't know him he's the man uh, 93 okay there we go a 93 that's fantastic so we've gotten three 93s we got 50k left and we've got a bunch of other cards. So another 93 back to back. What is with the new hunter? This dude must be like 50,000 coins at this point. That is insane. This roll is wild. This has got to be the best roll I've ever seen. I mean, that's 493s, right? Yeah, that's 493s. So one more, we basically automatically make profit. We just have to make up for the. Fitz Magic and the B and D's that I had, which was, I mean, it was a bunch of training, probably about 30k or so. But like I said, I'm not gonna keep rolling this on camera. If I pull something sick, I'll record it and add it to the end potentially. But right now, this is just, dude, this set is eaten up. I mean, like I said, 195 is where we started at. I think we're way past that. Another 93. We are way past that right now, boys. Hop in here. Do this as fast as you can. 
This is insanity right now. Absolutely insanity. So we've gotten our 595s back. I honest to God might just keep them and get my coins back because coins is always king. I don't think there's anybody too crazy in this promo. I'll probably sell Eric Dickerson, get that new running back, and then just kind of chill. I don't really need Avante Smith. I don't really need the Thomas Davis card. There's nothing game changing about those. And just build up the team a little bit more because Guys, there's going to be team of the year around the corner. There's going to be three team of the weeks coming out. There's going to be playoffs. There's going to be all this stuff. So just make sure you guys are being smart with your coin because coin is always king at the end of the day. As it looks like I am absolutely lagged out right now. I heard the servers are absolutely struggling. Come on, we've got two more rolls we need to get through. I'm going to keep trying to roll for that clown here, Devontae Smith, though. I'll tell you what, because they look great. I really want that clowny card. He looks great. And plus he goes on theme team if I ever wanted to do that. So we shall see as we get an 84 and then what? We've got what, two more? I might be able to quick sell one more. End it off with a bang. How about we end it off with a bang right here so I don't even have to quick sell one anymore. Can we do it? No, we cannot. But will it give us enough? It will not. So that's going to do it. I'm going to go calculate how much training we just pulled again the magic number was a hundred and ninety thousand training so let's go over here real quick wrap this up i know this video has been long appreciate you guys sticking around definitely drop a like if you've made it this far it means the world to me y'all been great with the comments all that good stuff of late appreciate you all so let's see here so we did all these rolls so if we were just a quick sell which i'm probably not going to 195 was the magic number About 60 some K in training profit. So y'all make sure you hop onto this. I'll be back with another roster update hopefully soon. Hop on this quickly before they nerf it. Peace out, y'all. Take care.